hello welcome to live long in color i want to thank everyone for stopping by and joining me today today's video is my completed pages for the month of august 2022 so if that interests you just stand by and we'll get to it but first i would like to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel liked and commented on my videos you're all so greatly appreciated i can't express it it's just so great thank you so much and now let's get started first thing i like to do is go over some stats so for the month of august i did a total of 86 pages 67 were out of physical books 19 were pdfs 60 were non-color by number and 26 were color by number so that was out of a total of 35 books 26 were physical books and nine were pdf books out of that i did a nine new books for 2022 and out of my 10 books to finish i have only 40 pages to go and out of four books now these are all the supplies that i uh, used in the month i'm not going to read them off because my husband says that's really boring <laughs> so there you go if you're interested in everything that i used i probably won't go through um, every picture because there's so many it'll take forever but there we go so we'll get started in a second okay so first we're going to start with hannah hannah carlson i did this these two pages i did these gorgeous geese i love the colors that i used i love orange and yellow together um, i used prismacolor pencils with eyeshadow background and glitter gel pen for the jewels and the jewelry and then on this page it was strictly glitter gel pen with um eyeshadow background and i really like how both pages came out had a lot of fun doing those then we have Mythographic Dream Garden by Fabiana Atanasio. This is the only one I have out of the series. Um, here we go. This was a whip like forever. I'm talking five months easy. I started it and I just never went back to it. I used Brute Funer pencil on this and I was lucky that I actually wrote down what I used so I knew which, knew which ones to go back to to get started again. And I really love the way it came out. I also used the colored pencil for the background so I didn't do anything fancy. And um, yeah. And then for the, you know, the secret items or whatever, I just did them in silver gel pen. I don't try to hide them. I just <laughs> go with the flow. Then we have Color Morphia by Kirby Rosanas. I was into bugs apparently this month. I did these with all various glitter gel pens. I just went into my case and just picked out random ones and just started coloring. So I enjoyed doing that. Then we have Color Kaleidomorphia. Now, when I started this one, I thought, I watched somebody else do another video and they were using Neocolor 2 or something to do the picture itself, not just the background. And I thought, wait, I could probably do a picture with um, my oil pastels. So I decided to try it on this one. So this whole rooster here is done with oil pastels with pencil, going over it with pencil. Now, I don't remember which which ones I used for this. All the little items here are all pencil, strictly pencil, and the background is, is um, eyeshadow. But I really like the way it came out. But I will say, I'm gonna have to find pictures that have, if I'm going to do this again, that have a lot of open space like this one, because trying to get into little tiny crevices without getting it all over the place is kind of difficult. And in fact, that's why I just did the card. I kind of blended it in, which I like, to be honest. So that's how I did this one. And I love, love, love the way it came out. Then I did this one. It reminded me of those plants on Harry Potter that I can't remember the name of. 
where you pulled it out of the ground and they started screaming. That's what this reminded me of. Um, I thought this looked more like water than dirt, so I made it into water and then just did this part darker than this part to kind of signify it's underwater. Um, I'm not a big mushroom person. I decided pretty much to do all the mushrooms the same. And then as far as everything that's in the plant, uh, for the little fairy creatures, I just use glitter gel pens. Very um, Pencils I used, let's see. I did write it down, I think. Oh, well, here it is. Let's see. I used polychromos for that page. For this one and then I went over here because I didn't show this on I forgot to show them on my supply haul video but I bought some Arteza metallic pencils and so I decided to test them out on this picture now I will say that I like the gold ones because you, you really got a good shimmer with the gold these not so much um, so that's what I use I used Arteza uh, metallic the background and the bat here was made with just the Arteza expert and eyeshadow background and a little bit of metallic glitter for the jewels but I really like him and then on this one I just used Arteza expert for the skull and this just various glitter gel pens for the butterflies and eyeshadow for the background Next, we have Worlds Within Worlds. I did this double page spread here. I really love the way it came out. Um, I used Prismacolor pencils for the whole thing. Eyeshadow background, I was trying to make it look a bit like a sunrise. And I wanted the ants to look like um, fire ants. And then I did use a little tiny bit of glitter for this little fish thing here. But what I thought was funny as I was telling my husband, this reminded me of the three little pigs. Like this one had the house of stone. This one had the house of straw. This one had the house of wood, and this is where the big bad wolf lived. So, anyways, that was uh, what I was thinking when I did this picture. So, yeah, I love this picture. really enjoyed doing it. And that is it for the Kirby Rosannis. And uh, I'll be right back. So, next we're going to go through all of the other uh, non-color by number. First up is 100 Flower Designs by Mantra Craft. I did two in here. I did this one. Um, I did the Lilies Blue. Lily, I think these are Lilies of the Valley. I did them blue because I just don't... It's too much white. And I like it. And the other one is not that one. It's this one and other Lilies of the Valley. I like how this makes a uh, clover shape, so I really like that picture. Eyeshadow background for both of those. Then we have Summertime by Sally Berry. I did the kites with a oil pastel background, and then I just kind of did the clouds with white Posca. And the swimsuits with an eyeshadow background. Relaxing Summer by Sally Berry. This is the one where I just printed out two pictures on each page. And I count them as one picture on my total for the month. I love this dog. He's so cute. Um, I just did various backgrounds like this one is eyeshadow. This one is crayon. I think it's confetti crayon. And then we're back to eyeshadow. I like the way this banana looks. I kind of did it like a green banana because most of the bananas, sometimes you get them at the store and they're all green like that. So yeah, that is uh, Relaxing Summer by Sally Berry. 
Now we're going to do, uh, this is Jade Summer, Chibi Girls, Grayscale, 4-in-1. I did this Angel, and I basically did the dubs in the three different shades of gray. And, uh, yeah, she came out cute. I used glitter in, on her feathers and her eyes. And this one, on this one too, I used crayon in the sky for the background. I don't like to use too much marker, so I used one hand used crayon. And I did the same thing here on all this rock. I just used a gray crayon. The only thing I don't like on this is the um, snake. I wish I would have done a different color. Then we have Baby Dragons, one of my favorite books by Jade Summer. Um, this cutie here, I did him all in the reds. He's so cute. My little lava dragon. Crayon here and in the sky. This one also, I used crayon. And then I kind of highlighted it with pencil here on the bottom and in the sky. And uh, he was inspired by Tony the Tiger. And I kind of did them the same, but in opposite. So where this is dark, this would be light. Exact. And uh, yeah, I thought he was cute. Next, we have Easy Coloring by Jade Summer. I did this one and uh, I did the eyeshadow background again with all the different colors I thought it fit this picture I did this beautiful parrot I did him with uh, or her with um, oil pastel and color pencils eyeshadow background this one is something where I tried something a little new I drew in the diamonds in the background um, they're fairly successful. Um, they're a little crooked and I colored them with, uh, twistable crayons, which I'm not sure how good that looks, but overall I like the picture. I like how I put a little bit of yellow on the popcorn so it looks like butter. And that is Easy Coloring by Jay Summer with the artist is Joshua Dunbar. Another one from Jade Summer where the author, or the author, the artist, is uh, Joshua Dunbar, is this easy Halloween coloring book. Here's another one where I drew in the lines in the background. This is all done by, with oil pastel and color pencils. I used three different color um, oil pastels for the background, and then I just used a Sharpie and drew in the lines and I really like the way this one came out more than I like the diamonds. I'm thinking if I do the diamonds again, I'm also gonna outline it in marker and maybe that'll make that pop. But I like the way that the, the cat stands out from the background now that I did the background that way. It looked really nice. This one I'm happy with. And then we have this one. And this one is the second time I've done this picture and I got the idea to do it a, di a little different. And I am going to try to put the other picture that I did here on the side. So we'll see how that goes. So hopefully I was able to do that. I put it over here to the side. I was successful in that. But um, I wanted to show you the contrast between that one. This one I did it kind of opposite. Where that one had a gray hand. This one I did the hand colorful. But I did the flowers in, in different colors of uh, shades of gray and I really like this one and I wish I kind of would have done this in the first place it was it's nice with eyeshadow background next is the way home with Morgan O'Brien I did three pictures in here this one I did the snow in lavender because a it's on a foreign planet and I thought why not they could have lavender snow and I just didn't want to do it white um, my poor Copics that I refilled, I overfilled them and so they splotched a little bit. But other than that, I like it. This one I did use crayon for the grass. A little bit of glitter in the egg. I don't know if you can see. There we go. And I've been outlining all of the pictures. And I don't know why you can't see it that well on this one. But maybe you can see a little better on this one. I outlined them all with the gold. Uh, 
Ohuhu glitter gel pen. So it kind of makes the circle stand out. A little bit of Posca in the water. Well, now I think this was Uniball Signal in the water. Greatest Hits by Jade Summer. I did this page. It's not my favorite page. I don't like the way it came out. I used Black Widow pencils. Um, I consider this the Edgar Allan Poe, even though I don't know if he had blonde hair, but I made him blonde. And I put the bird watchy tape because of uh, the raven. And that's that. 50 Mythical Creatures by Camelia Anjakova. I did Valkyrie. I used uh, Copics on her. And then I used confetti for the background and the moon, glitter on her wings there, and then gold metallic for the rest. These were more detailed, but I tried to do them in two different colors. It didn't work out, so I just did them solid. I thought it looked nice that way. Next, we have 50 diminutive countryside scenes by Camelia Jacoba. I did this page. With the ducks use a little bit of white uni ball in the water and then I did this page and this they were done this one was done the first one was done on the 21st and when did I do this one I did this one on the 29th so there was about you know eight days in between and I happened to use the same washi tape I don't know why <laughs> Yes, both of these pictures scream that kind of washi tape um, and I just used a little bit of gel pen uh, silver gel pen on the uh, windows kind of give it a reflective service surface then 50 ocean miniatures by Camelia Ganchikova this one is not my favorite one that I've ever done um, I don't like the way I did the uh, seal I originally had him pink and and gray and I didn't like the way it looked so then I went over the pink with a black gel pen so it has a bit of pink underneath which looks a lot better um, I don't like the way I did the whiskers and the mouth but I do like the way that I dotted these up here with the silver gel pen I mean you really can't see it unless you put it in the light but I like the way it sparkles when you when you have it in the light and then this one came out a lot better these beautiful little turtles with their glitter gel pen shells and the crayon background then we have happy mermaids coloring book by coloring book kim i did this one this one i have uh, has eyeshadow background and this one has crayon background this looks so much like flounder and then we have this one dragon with pets another favorite of mine I did this cutie the little rabbit crayons in the background this one with the seal eyeshadow in the background oh I love the colors this one I kind of wanted to do usually I do the the dragon colorful but I wanted the dragon gray and then all the mouse or the mice the mouses I was gonna say the mice um, with uh, different colors bright colors so I like that and then this cutie here I did pink because pink is one of my favorite colors to do any kind of animal in and I used oil pastels here in the bottom but I used um, eyeshadow on the top that's that Ava Brown fantasy I did this one she's not my favorite one that I've ever done but she came out better um, the face is a little splotchy with the markers that I was using and I definitely used three different colors of the Arteza gel pens on the, uh, the dragonflies. I mean the dragonflies. Hummingbirds. And they, all three of them look the same. So it's not like I did anything different. But it's okay. 
Then we have Chibi Girls Volume 3 by April Amber. I did this one, which I'm not that happy with the color scheme that I chose. This one's a little better. I like her. This one is the little farmer, which is really cute. Use metallic for the rake. I sh um, not eyeshadow, crayons for the background there. The Red Queen, which I did all in reds and blacks and just a pop of gold so it wouldn't be totally monochromatic. And then this one, I don't like the way I did the little clown here. I tried to do her face somewhat like this, and I didn't like the way that came out. Is that the end? Yes. Next is Cute and Magical by Alexandra Francais. I did this Griffin with eyeshadow. And the only thing I did a bit different with him was I used this reddish pinkish color to go around him and I highlight him and I kind of like the way that looks. I might do that again. And then this gesture came out way better than I thought. I love the colors and I use crayon uh, for the background. Country Chibis by Alexander Francais. Um, here's this little girl with the guitar. And there is this beauty here. I use crayon for the background on the floor for this one. Um, this one, I was inspired by the little old ladies that used to dye, or they may still do it, where you'd see them and they have their hair dyed light lavender or light pink or light blue. Uh, for, so that's where I got the inspiration for this one. And those colors look like some football team colors. I have no idea, <laughs> but that's what it kind of looks like to me. And then this watermelon one where I did all the butterflies here or with glitter. And it makes me hungry for watermelon. And finally, the last of the non-color by number is Easy Spring by Demita Victoria. I did this beautiful little hummingbird. This hummingbird came out way better than the um, other ones that I did. This butterfly. This one I did with uh, oil pastels and colored pencils. I think this part here is, is eyeshadow on the background, but this is oil pastels. This one <laughs> I thought was cute because my husband took one look at this picture and said, that's you, isn't it? And I said, yes. This one was inspired by me in my younger days. Um, the hair, the dress color, and my favorite flower was the sunflower. So, <laughs> yeah. And then we have this cutie pie, this little dog. Everything is done with oil pastels, color pencils, except for the dog, the rug, and the, and the food dish here. That was done with markers. And that's it for the non-color by number. And we will get started with the color by number. All right, first up, we will do all of my Hachette Heroes. Um, I started with Obi-Wan, and then I did the Emperor. I do all of these with various water-based markers. Um, I know this purple was way brighter than what they had, but I kind of like the way he came out and that's it and then I moved on to some Disney I finally started coloring in the Disney um, let's do this one first this is the one that I started with and what I did was I decided I kind of had to give myself permission to mess up because on these I have a tendency when I was doing the Star Wars ones and they're a little bit more detailed in this page um, to lose where I'm at and I would color something the wrong color 
plus the water-based markers come out streaky and um, I just said you know what I'm gonna have fun I'm going to color if I mess up I mess up if it's streaky it's streaky the whole purpose and the, everything that I preach is you have to enjoy what you're doing and as long as you enjoy it the end result is not as important as the enjoyment that you get so once I talk myself into that <laughs> I uh, went to do this page first. I said, I'm going to stick my foot in, my little toe in first, and do something a little easy. Mo this majority of this is white and just outlining. The only problem I had with this was I used a water-based marker, and I had to use the fine tip part because the brush part was too big for the lines. And then on some of these, the... Uh, the other color would bleed when it hit the uh, outline so I didn't like that and after this one I went to using black Posca pens to do the lines now whether or not that will work in this book where these lines are way tinier I don't know but we shall see and honestly I don't mind the streaks um, I know some people have been using acrylic paint and such to get get out of that but I don't have the patience to do use acrylic. I don't, you know, I'm not that confident in that technique. And I'm just happy the way this comes out. And I don't want to stress myself out by doing something that I'm not comfortable with and would ultimately taint the enjoyment that I have because I'm doing something stressful that I don't think I can do. So anyway, that is a long-winded explanation on that one. And then I did, oh, that was, I didn't even say the name. That was Animales. This is the Spanish version. Um, this is Felines by Disney. This is also the Spanish version. I did Duchess here. And like I said, this one, I used the Posca to do the outline. And I'm much happier with that. It worked out really well. And she came out beautiful. And then I did this one. For some reason, I just, if I do this side, I want to do this side. And so I don't know, I didn't know who this character was. And when I looked at the name in the back, it said, let's see, what number is that? 55. It said, Los Tres Mosqueteros Ciegos. And I asked my husband, what? The heck I knew it was like three musketeers uh, but I didn't know what ciegos meant he told me blind three and so I looked this up this is three blind musketeers it was done in 1936 my husband remembered it I didn't I didn't I hadn't ever seen it um so yeah I like the way he came out I did the gloves a little darker than what they had but I kind of like that and um, all in all, I'm happy with it. All right, next are all the other uh, color by numbers. I did 40 coloring pages by Sun Life Drawing. I did this flamingo. Mosaic Art Vacations from Such and Such Diva. I did this car here, all with Bic Intensity. I like doing the X message with the ultra fine Bix. They work really good. Flowers uh, by Elsa Lennox. I did this page here. Now I hope that her name is Elsa Lennox because I don't know if I have it in here. Um, no, it doesn't say. I don't know what happened to the page where it tells me who... Um, who the artist is but I'm pretty sure it's Elsa Lennox if it's not I will I will put a text in, in the bottom there and, and put the right name but I did all this with uh, Crayola um, pencils mindfulness this one I do know it's David Woodruff and I did this page here all in markers happy Halloween black background by color Questopia I use my art skills markers because I haven't had their water base and I don't have much opportunity to use them. 
like the way they look. They came out pretty good. The only thing is I did the sky purple. I didn't want it to be a daylight scene. I did the, the sun as a moon. And I wanted to draw a face on it for like the man on the moon. And I think his expression is saying, I don't know what these clouds are so happy about. I don't know. He just, <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, I had fun. Mandalas uh, by Color Questopia. I did this one. I just used some old random gel pen to do the uh, outline. Um, I've decided on these. If I decide to do an outline, I'm going to use just old ones um, that I don't use, like the neon ones. And this one, I decided to use a silver metallic to do the background. Then we have large print color by number by Color Questopia. This is where I decided that when I originally started buying Color Questopia and even some more recent, I bought the ones with the white lines and not the black lines. And now I'm regretting it because it's starting to become tedious, especially ones that are more detailed. Like this one probably wouldn't have been so bad, but I've gotten some with patterns and there are just so many lines and I just don't want to do it anymore. So I decided that I wasn't going to do them. I was just going to color them the same color that I color the, um, the object. And I'm liking that. That's working out for me. I don't feel the need to have them all black. So that is what I'm doing. I did it with that one and with this one. And... The only thing I regret is this purple was way too dark. I should have gone with a lighter purple. Then we have Zendoodle Stained Glass Dazzling Art to Color and Display by Deborah Muller. I did this beautiful lion with super tips and he did not come out that streaky. Really love the way he looks. Then I did this one with Heath Throne Markers, which is an alcohol marker. And on this paper... It comes out just as streaky as the water base. So I'm going to continue to use the water base in these books because to me, they come out about the same. And this is also Spring Awakening from Deborah Muller. And I did this beautiful picture here with super tips. Really happy with that. Then I actually did some George Tufexis. This month, I did Country Scenes, Color by Number by George Tusfexis, and I did this page, and I love the way it came out, but, and there's a but, I mixed up the colors. I used uh, a blue that wasn't even on there, like a bluish gray, in places where it should have been light gray, and some places that were supposed to be white, I colored in. So this is not going to match exactly uh, George Tufexis' vision, but it's my vision and I'm happy with it. Then we have By the Seashore. Now this book, I looked it up, is not available any longer. This is a two-in-one book that had By the Sea and Sea Life in the same book. And I didn't realize that when I bought it. This was the very first George Tufexis book that I ever bought. And I didn't realize it was a two for one when I bought it. And so that was made me happy. So this picture here I love. So beautiful, so vibrant. And this one is from Sea Life. So if you're going to look for this picture, look for it under Sea Life by uh, George Tufexis. And for these, I'm using a lot of the Bic Intensity uh, Ultra Fine and my Tail Tree markers for the colors that I don't have. And that is it for all the regular color by numbers. Next, we're going to my 10 books to finish. I worked in three books and I did the year in flowers. I do a certain amount each month. This was my August page. Um, I use Prisma, Prisma color, poly, polychromos on these. And then these poppies, I'm going to ignore that part because I I didn't like the original color that I used, and I went over with another color, didn't like it, and I went over, and then it just looked uh, muddy. So we're going to, to ignore that. But other than that, I'm happy with those. 
Next is Nature by Duncan Smith. I used Crazy Art Color Pencils for these. And I did six pages. And if I keep going with six pages a month, I will easily finish this by the end of the year. And considering that I hadn't started any when I started this project, I'm pretty happy with my progress on that. And the final book that I worked in, well, not really the final book that I worked in, but the final book that I'm going to show you is Cactus and Succulents Coloring Book by Color Questopia. I did not that page but this page and i also just did it with coloring the the lines the same color as the cactus and this is what i was talking about when i was talking about there's too many lines it would have taken me forever to outline all of these with black separately and i just said no it's getting too tedious i'm not enjoying it i'm going to do it this way so i have maybe one or two more pictures i have one that I already did the outlines for, one that I was halfway through, and those will be the last ones, at least in this book, that I'm going to uh, do the outlines for, and the rest of them, which I don't think are very many. I think I only have like four pages left. Um, I'll do like this. All right, that's it for uh, this video. Thank you all for sticking by me through the whole thing. And until I see you next time, stay safe, be happy, and live long in color. Bye-bye.